Oh, oh man, my back is killing me. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. Let me relax. Ugh. Oh man, that feels so much better. Ooh, 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 Charlie and Friends is coming on. I need to turn the TV on. Um, hey, Dad. Oh, what, Junior? Your voice is so annoying. I hate it. Oh, well, I'm really, really bored, and I was wondering if I could invite some friends over to play. Why do you need friends? Don't you have Chef Pee Pee? He's in the kitchen. Go and play with him. But Chef Pee Pee doesn't really like playing with me. He doesn't like playing toys, and I really want to invite some friends over. Yeah, he is kind of weird. I guess you can invite one friend over. One friend? Uh, only um, one friend. Hmm. I'm going to invite Joseph, okay? Joseph? Uh, you're inviting Joseph? Uh, yeah, Joseph is from school. You, you've met him before. Uh, well, if you're inviting Joseph, you have to invite Cody, too. Or, why do I have to invite Cody? I Joseph know. doesn't like him, and, and Cody's kind of weird. He has, he has problems. Hey, he's not weird. He's just a special individual, and he needs special friends to give him that special attention. And his mom keeps blowing up my phone and everybody in the neighborhood just to tell us and let us know he needs to be in the in crowd. Oh, well, I guess I'll invite Cody, too. Um, thanks, Dad. I'm going to invite Joseph and Cody. Yeah, hurry up and leave my room. This is the good part. Oh, oh, oh. oh Cheetos. You look so crunchy and oh, cheesy. Oh, if I could marry you, I would. Stupid government, though. How about I just sing to you? You're so cheesy and beautiful! Hey, Chef Pee what, what, Junior? Don't creep up on me like that! Were you singing? Your voice is beautiful. Um, well, thank you, but, um, what do you want? Well, um, a, a few of my friends are coming over to play, and okay. I was wondering if you could make some snacks for us to eat. <sighs> I don't want to make any snacks! I'm trying to eat my snack! But, but I just really, really want some snacks so my friends don't think I'm cool. I, I want like a bunch of snacks, like, like sugary, delicious, yum, yum snacks. Well, it sounds like it's time for you to grow up and make your own snacks. Well, um, I, I can't make anything. Please, Chef Pee Pee, will you make some snacks, please? Dude, I'm busy making out with my Cheetos. Can I just please have some alone time to myself? But I want snacks. I want delicious snacks so my friends will think I'm so cool. And then they can be like, hey, look, Junior has the best snacks ever. What what would you want me to make then? Um, so I, you could be so cool. I don't know. Just just have some snacks, but uh, they have to be healthy because Cody's coming over and he has medical problems. Why did you even invite this creeper? Because my, my dad made me invite him. Just just please make some snacks, please. I guess I can see what I can do. All right, thanks, Jeff Pee. Whatever. Ah, oh no! Someone help me! Oh no! Um, this woman just fell on the train track and a train is coming. What are we gonna do? Help me! Help me! Oh no! The train is coming! Too late! Ah, die! 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 Julie, die! Oh no! The, the train ran her over and killed her! She's dead! Uh, oh, oh, someone's at the door! Oh, it might be Joseph! Oh man, I can't wait to see Joseph! Uh, Joseph! Cody! I brought my candle! Oh, I don't want to see Cody. Does this mean I should go home? Uh, I have to let him in. Uh, Sorry, Cody. I thought I saw a bug. Uh, come inside. You okay? Joseph's gonna be in a few minutes. Uh, all right, Cody. So, uh, put Ken on the couch or something. Um, or right there. Uh, so I was playing trains before you came. So you wanna play trains? Yeah, I'm gonna be the blue one. Uh, um, um, no, uh, I, I, you're new to this, so I, I won't yell at you, but, um, I'm always Thomas. I'm always the blue one. Uh, you can be, uh, the ugly red- no, that's for Joseph. Um, you can be the green one. I don't wanna be the green one. I want to be the blue one. Blue is a primary color. Green's only a secondary color. I'm allergic to secondary colors. What? You, you, you can't be allergic to colors. Yes, I can. That's why I only wear blue. And that's why Ken wears blue. Uh, wait, yeah, um, um, well, uh, okay, so, so you're allergic to secondary colors. Um, yes. um, so, and green is a secondary color. Yes. Uh, uh, is, is red a secondary color? No, it's a primary color. Oh, are you allergic to primary colors? No, of course not. Okay, um, well, can you be the red one then? Sure. Okay, okay, so you're the red one, okay, because I'm always Thomas. Okay, so so you play with the, the, the ugly red one, and I'm going to play with Thomas, okay? Okay. Okay, choo-choo. <laughs> um, um, Cody, the train goes choo-choo. Oh, uh, choo-choo. Yeah. Okay, okay, choo choo! Uh, oh, no, the door! Oh, that must be Joseph, just wait right here. Don't leave me. Oh, this has to be Joseph! Joseph! It's me! Yay! 
mean if y'all brought the basketball so we can have some one-on-one -on -one time? <laughs> uh, well, we can't play one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Cody, uh -huh. Cody's here. <laughs> Well, how is Cody here? We're not gonna have fun. He's weird. My dad made me invite him. Shh, just come on. Please come inside. Don't leave me alone with him. Please. I'm just so come on, bored already anyways. All right, Cody. Joseph's here, so we're gonna stop playing trains, okay? No, I was having fun. Well, we'll play a different game that's fun. Um, so Joseph, what do you want to play? How about Mortal Kombat? Oh, um, hmm. Uh, that's only two players, and we gotta have something that's three players. Street Fighter. Um, it's, that's still two players. It has to be three players, Joseph. How about Connect Four, then? Uh, th that's still only two players. We need something that's three players. Hmm, I'm, I'm gonna think, um, hmm. Well, checkers, checkers. Uh, no, I, I don't like checkers. That's two players. Oh, well, what is three players? Um, I don't know. You tell me. You don't want to invite Cody over here. My dad made me invite him. Um, uh, can you think of something that's, uh, that's, uh, two players, Cody? Uh, Monopoly. I'm not good with money. Mm. I, like every time I see a gumball machine, I just gotta have a piece of gumball. Oh mm. well. How about we play house? Mm, that's a good idea. We could probably do that. House? I love that show. It's no. not the show, you idiot. Yeah, it, it, not the show, House Cody. It's it's a game called House. Look, Jeez. we all pretend to be a big family. Like I'll be the daddy, Joseph will be the mommy, and you'll be the the son or the daughter. <laughs> Oh, I've always wanted a daughter. Yeah, you'll be the daughter, and we'll be a big, happy family. I've always wanted a family. I bet you did. We need a dog. Oh, I'll see if Sheppy B will be the dog. That'll be too awesome. Yeah, hurry up. Okay, I got all the snacks for Junior. It should be enough. Hey, Chef Pee, Pee. Yeah, are you ready for your snacks? They're all here. Um, I'm not in the mood for snacks. Um, I, we're playing house, and we want to know if you want to be the dog. Really? Just a dog? I, I couldn't be president or maybe a real estate agent or a banker? Someone successful? No, um, you look like a dog. I want you to be the dog. Say you. woof. I'm not woofing for you, Junior. Oh, but come on, Chef Pee Pee, we're playing house and we need to complete our family with a dog. Please be a dog. Please, please, please. I have more dignity than that. Why don't you get your father to be a dog? He looks more like a dog than me. I'm a human. <laughs> My dad? Um... He looks more like a like, like a like a parrot. Um, so really? I, I want you to be a, a dog, parrot. please. All, all you have to do is bark a few times, roll over, and eat your own poop. I'm not eating my poop. What the hell is wrong with you, Junior? Why would I go in and eat poop? Cause you're a dog. I'm not a dog. I'm a freaking chef. But that's why I got snacks and a freaking juice for you, you weirdo. Okay, how about if I cut a deal with you? What if um you be the mailman? Hmm. Mailman. It's kind of a promising career. Come yeah, on, that's just for a few minutes. Just for a few minutes. Hmm. I guess so. Hey, yeah, come on, be the mailman. Who can do this? All right, guys. Chef Pee Pee has agreed to be the dog. Wait, what? I'm not being a damn dog. You told me I could be the mailman. He's a liar. I'm not eating boo. Uh, all right, guys. Um, I promise you, he agreed to be the dog. He's a liar. No, I didn't. You know what? I'm just gonna leave. I don't care. No, Chef Pee Pee, just, just, just bark one time. Just one. I'm not barking. I'm not a freaking dog. Okay. Just, just one little woof, and you'll be done. Okay. Just one little woof. I'm not woofing! One woof, please! Woof! Yeah, he did it! Alright guys, are y'all ready to be one big happy family? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yes. Alright, let's go, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> uh, good morning, honey. What, what, Junior? That's weird. I'm not your honey. Dude, we're playing pretend. You're my wife. I'm your husband. I'm supposed to call you honey and baby and stuff. It's all pretend. Do it again. <laughs> Okay, uh, redo, redo. <laughs> oh, good morning, honey. Oh, hey, baby, how did you sleep last night? Oh, I slept great. Did you sleep good? Um, yeah, I slept okay. Oh, well, hey, can you check and make sure my, my tie is on right? Okay. I got I got to impress the boss. I want to get that raise. Oh, you look spiffy. Oh, you look like a million dollars. Oh, thank you. I just hope that secretary lady isn't there today. <laughs> uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, oh nothing, nothing. My, my secretary, if you have something against Sandra, you can tell me. Look, I just think you spend a little too much time at work. You overwork yourself. I work hard for this family, okay? I got to make a lot of money so, so I can pay for Sally's school and I can pay for all your expensive clothes and women's stuff. Sure, just blame it on my women's stuff. I just think you spend too much time at work and I think you think she's pretty. Sandra, she's a nice lady. I, I don't think she's pretty. The only girl that I think is pretty is you. 
you're just jealous, and and I, I and I think I, I think I need to just go, go to work early today. I'm not jealous, and you're not going to work early. Well, well then, where's my breakfast? What did you make for breakfast this morning? Um, I didn't make breakfast yet. I was washing dishes, but it's coming up. You don't have breakfast ready, and I just woke up. I gotta be working like 15 minutes, or my boss is gonna be on my ass and stuff. And, and you don't even have breakfast ready? Well, if you were to give me money to buy the groceries for breakfast, we would have breakfast ready. Oh, your life is so hard. Oh, you just have to wait for my paycheck so you can go buy your food and you can make your breakfast and sit on your ass all day and watch TV. What the hell does it get cleaned by itself? Oh, the house? Oh, what? It takes a good old five minutes to clean the house, and I just be at work all day and impress the boss. And if I don't do it, then he's gonna fire me. You don't even know my life! You just want me to slave around here all damn day! I can't do it! Oh, wait, I have to watch Sally! I don't want to do this shit! I didn't ask for this! You got me pregnant! Oh, okay, well, you know I record Lifetime all day and watch your stupid sitcoms. Oh, well, I have to be at work. You know what? I'm, I, I don't have time for this. Lifetime's a good network! Wait, you know I'm just gonna go say bye to Sally, okay? You do that! Yeah, hungry. All right, Sally, I gotta go to work. Sally? And then my name is Miranda. No, it's Sally. We agreed on Sally. You're my daughter, Sally. Come on. Okay. Do it again. Look, Look at the plate. <sighs> all right, Sally. I got to go to work, so I just do good in school and all that stuff. Wait, when's breakfast? Uh, breakfast? I don't know. I was asking the same thing. Whenever your mom gets off her fat butt and makes breakfast. Hey, don't bring my weight into this. Well, you have gained a few pounds since the honeymoon. <laughs> well, you know what? At least I don't have a beer belly. What? I drink because of you. Whatever. You've been drinking ever since college. Never. Hey, don't, don't listen to your mother. She's a liar. He's an alcoholic! Well, you're a whore! You're, you're sleeping with a whore! She's a nice lady. Her name is Sandra. She's my she's my secretary at work. Don't listen to your mother. Just just do good in school and, and just, just, I'm going to work. Mom, why do you and Dad fight so much? I don't know, but it's hot. Do our clothes. All right, family. I'm home from work. Oh, hi, honey. I got dinner ready. Oh, really? That's surprising. You actually got off your fat ass and did something. <gasps> uh, Plastic pizza again for the second night in a row? Shh, stop arguing. Oh, we have a guest. Oh, who is this? Oh, Sally brought her boyfriend over today. Oh, oh did you, Sally? Oh, what's his name? His name is Ken. He's a doctor. Oh, a doctor? Oh, yeah. My, my little Sally I got her a catch. Um, uh, tell me about yourself, Ken. Whoa, a doctor from Harvard. I, I'm a Yale man myself. I went uh, to Yale University. Don't even lie. Uh, you went to community college. He doesn't know that you're lying and embarrassing me. You got a train. You're welding. Shut up. I'm sorry, Ken. It's not usually like this. Sally, it's okay. Everything's okay. You don't have to explain anything to Ken. I'm just sick of your father and all this yelling. He comes home every day mad at the world, and I didn't even do anything. Well, I have to work all day, and you don't understand what it's like to come home after a long eight-hour day at work, and then I have to deal with this. I have to deal with plastic pizza. It's all old and cold, and, and I have to deal with your mother. That just, Oh, my God. You're just annoying. My mother is awesome, and this plastic pizza... Well, I love that you got a salad. At least you're trying to work on your figure, because you're a cow. I'm not a cow! Jesus, no, you, no, no, I'm not a I cow. work out on the regular. Don't make a mess. Dad, you're scaring me. Just go to your room and take Ken with you, because i got to settle this right now. Okay, look, I, I, I'm sick and tired of you embarrassing me in front of my, my own daughter, okay, and now her boyfriend. It's not my fault. You're an embarrassment yourself. You do this on the regular. You, you just might as well drink yourself into a coma. I do that every night. <gasps> oh! You're sleeping on the couch. I don't care. Good night, Sally. Good night, Sally. I'm sorry me and your mom argue tonight. It's just, you know, sometimes we just argue. It's just, it's just what families do. I'm sorry, too. You promise not to fight anymore? I promise we won't fight anymore. Yeah. And it's not that we don't love you. It's just sometimes we wish you weren't born. But I still love you. I love you more. Whatever. It's just, it's just... Good, good night. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Can you read me a bedtime story? Damn it. Um, sure. Uh, what story do you want to hear, Sally? Um... Three little pigs. Oh, the three little pigs? Okay, um, hmm, how does that go again? Okay, I, I, I got it, okay. So once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One was called your mother, yeah. the other one was called your mother, and the other one was called your mother. They're all your pigs. Your mom's a big pig, okay? Yeah. And our, her mom kicked her out of the house one day, and she had to find a place to live. 
So she built a house out of straws because she's a dumbass. And this big wolf that was really hungry, you know, he comes and he, he blew down his house. And, and, and your mother had to find another house. So she went and made a house out of sticks. Another stupid idea. So then uh, the wolf blew down the sticks and your mother was like, oh no, maybe I should sleep with him because his name is Tommy. And he goes to the community college and he's better than your dad and he has a better future. But then, uh, she, you know, she, she left and she went and moved into a brick house with me because, you know, I'm a good father and I have a good job and I can afford a brick house unlike Tommy could. So, uh, so now we live in a brick house and the wolf tries to blow it down, tries to blow it down, blow it down, blow it down. And he can't blow it down because you can't blow down a brick house unless you're like a Category 5 hurricane. But, um, so that's really what happened. The wolf, you know, starved to death and uh, now I'm married to your mother and she won't stop arguing and I love you more. Yeah. Oh. The end. Thank you. All right, so um, just have a good night. No, Ken, he didn't even know you were here the whole time. <gasps> Come in. Uh, uh, hey, honey, um, do I really have to sleep on the couch today? No, you can lay down. We should make up. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing too. Um, I'm sorry for for yelling at you today in front of in front of Sally's boyfriend. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I didn't mean the things I said, I just, you know, work is stressful and, and you know, I really want that raise, you know, to get, you know, to go on that cruise. Yeah, I hope you get it too. Yeah, I'm not sure about that Ken guy though. He rubbed me the wrong way with that silence. Yeah, he was too quiet. I don't think he's a doctor. A doctor my ass. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, I, I, I'll give Sally a chance with him, you know, all her, her past boyfriends were weird. I just... I just think he just wants her for sex. You remember that biker guy? Oh, he was just yeah, horrible. that was that was bad. Always wearing chains and gorges, you know, gouges, whatever they call it these days. Yeah. Yo, but for real, Joseph, how are we gonna make up? I think we need a kiss. I think you're getting a little too extreme, Junior. Joseph, no, we we need a kiss. That's how families make up. Cause I don't know how to make up other than a kiss. We need to do one quick kiss. It's kind of weird, Junior. I I know, but we're playing family. It, we're doing really good so far. It's just pretend. Just one quick little kiss, okay? Just really, one quiz, one, one 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 quick kiss, and that's it, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. On the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> quote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good night. Good night. I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, good morning, honey. Oh, good morning, honey. Again. <laughs> uh, baby, have you seen my blue Thomas the Tank Engine train? Um, no. I'm sorry. I haven't seen any train. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I'm positive. Uh, because I could have swore I left the train on the tracks last night, and it's not over there. <laughs> Look, Junior, I haven't seen any train, okay? Just just cut it out. Well, I know you get really annoyed when I play with it, so it'd be a shame if you were hiding it. <gasps> Look, Junior, I'm not hiding anything. I'm just washing dishes. Just get ready for breakfast and chill. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> or do I? <gasps> there it is. You're hiding it. Look, Junior, I'm tired of you and this train. You spent too much time with it. And you don't even touch me anymore. You barely even touched me last night. Who would touch you? You're disgusting. <gasps> Tommy would. That's who. Tommy. <laughs> That's what you get. You make me lay hands on you. I'm taking my Thomas train and I'm going to work. <sighs> Bye, Sally. I'm going to work. I thought you and Mom said you weren't going to fight anymore. Well, we weren't going to fight anymore. But your mother keeps bringing up the past. It, Dad, is it okay if Ken picks me up in his motorcycle today? Ken, I don't want you seeing Ken anymore. But, but we're in love. You're not in love. It's puppy love. Y you just met the guy. Yeah, but I love him more than you love Mom. We don't even fight. Ken doesn't even talk. You have no room to talk. You know what? You deserve a spanking. Get, yeah. get on your back. No, ah. no, yes. ah. yeah. no you're, it's a spanking. It's supposed to hurt. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah. No, spankings. Ah. It's spankings a, are bad. You learned your lesson yet? That hurts a lot. Yeah. Little ungrateful. Oh, you think you deserve everything? Okay. You're not saying kid anymore. I beat you because I'm insecure about myself. Are uh, 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 uh. you guys done or do you need five more minutes for being weird? Oh, look, it's the dog. Did you forget to take the dog out again? He's not my responsibility. It is your responsibility. You're I'm the one who not a damn dog, okay? And Cody's mom called. It's 6 o'clock. It's time for him to come home. It's past his bedtime or something. Uh, Cody, you gotta go home. Yeah. I was having so much fun. We were playing house. Oh, it looks very thrilling. It was really fun. I was about to beat his ass. I seen that. You were having a blast. 
Yeah, well, I, same time tomorrow, Cootie? Yes, of course. This was fun. I got spanked and everything. This is really fun. Uh, bye, Cody. Bye, Junior and Joseph. Hey, don't talk to your mother. I'm sorry. I, I'm still in character. Chevy, do you want to play with us? No, I'll pass on that. I'll go and probably cook myself to death while you guys have a little weird fetch thing going on. All right. Joseph. <laughs> uh, dude, Joseph. Joseph, Cody had to go home. Oh, um... Well, today was epic, dude. I, I really enjoyed it, man. I mean, I, I actually cried. I, I, I believe we were real actors. I know. I thought we were really married. Like, I, I know. I acted like a real dad, and you acted like a real mom. Right? Oh, we were a real family. Dude, that was so fun. Uh, you want to, like, continue? You want to strangle me a little more or something? No, um, I think I should wait for Sally to witness it. I want yeah. her to I want her to be traumatized and do the same thing to her kids. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, so so we'll do it tomorrow. It'll be good. Okay, um so same time tomorrow? Yeah, same time tomorrow. Oh, if my dad lets me. I gotta ask him. But I'm pretty sure he will. Okay, All um right. Well I'll see you tomorrow, Junior. Alright, bye Joseph. Don't All forget right. your basketball. Oh, I can't forget that. Bye. Oh man, I can't wait for my friends to come over, but until they come over, I'm just gonna watch some Doofy the Dragon. Alrighty kids, it's time for Doofy the Dragon! Oh, 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 hey kids! You're, you're probably wondering why I have my bags packed. Well, here's a catchy little jingle to explain why. I didn't pay my bills, I didn't pay my bills, I'm getting evicted cause I didn't pay my bills, my wife is leaving me, my wife is leaving me, I'm gonna kill myself cause my wife is leaving me, <laughs> remember kids, women will leave you if you lose everything. <laughs> God, that's so funny, Doofy! Oh, who's at the door? It must be my friends! Yay! That's gonna be my friends. Hello? Cody, Joseph, it's you, it's you, it's you! Yo, what's up, Junior? Are y'all ready to have the best day ever? Oh, totally. Come on inside, come on. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I have something amazing planned for us today. Oh, really? cool, what is it? We're gonna play house again. Awesome! Woohoo! Another one of these episodes, Junior? Yeah, it's gonna be amazing! So, Joseph, you're gonna be the mommy. And no, Dad! And Sally, you're gonna be our stupid daughter, okay? Oh boy. So, let's go! Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God, mashed potatoes from KFC! Oh, my God, I am so hungry! <laughs> Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi! You wanna play with me no. and my... No! Well, what about... What about... No! Me? Well, how about... No! Well, what? No! But, but no. Chef Bibi, but... I love no. you! No! Oh. Watching these dishes, they're always staring at me. Uh, honey, I'm I'm going to work, so uh, I'll see you after work, okay? Okay, but oh, wait, 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 honey. What? Um, what do you have planned after work? Um, I, I don't know. I'd probably just come home and watch TV. You're not doing anything special after work? Uh, uh no, just I'm I'm just coming home. Today's not special to you? Uh. uh no, it, it, it's Friday. It, it's just Friday. There's nothing There's nothing special about today. You don't know or remember what today is? It, it, it's January 23rd. What are, what are you talking about, woman? There's nothing special. It's just a random Friday. It's our anniversary! What do you mean it's a random Friday? It's a freaking anniversary! I can't believe you forgot, Julia! You forgot! And I, I, I bought you Play-Doh for our anniversary! Because I thought maybe... Spend some time in the garage. He's been stressing about work lately, but no, you're not getting Play Doh. You don't deserve it because you can't remember anything. Oh, but baby, baby, I mean, um, I, I didn't forget. I, I didn't forget. Uh, I never forget. I just, oh, you liar. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Oh my god. I, I just want to can't believe you, Junior. No, I, no, 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 like, baby, baby, I, I got you something. I got you something. You did? Yeah, I got you something. Yeah, I got you something. I promise. Hold on, let me, let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, you better not be lying. Oh my god. Uh, hey, hey, baby, 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 turn around and you'll see what I got you. Uh, what? An uh, onion? Yep. What am I going to do with an onion? Keep crying, you stupid. <laughs> ah, I want a divorce! I don't! I can't believe I married a horrible husband. <laughs> All right, Sally, I'm going to work, so do good in school and don't pass out in the hallway again. Dad? What? What are you and Mom fighting about this time? Well, today's our anniversary, and she forgot. <gasps> How dare you, Julia? 
You're gonna sit and lie in front of our daughter. You're gonna try to make me the bad guy. You're the one that forgot. I didn't forget. I just, I just, uh, I, I have to go pick up your present at the store after work. <gasps> I don't want any present from the store after work because you forgot in the first place. Yeah, I did not forget. You don't want anything that I can get you? No, I don't want anything you can get me. I don't even want my daughter. I never wanted her in the first place. I didn't want her either. So you know what? I'm going to work. Mom, <laughs> do you still love me? I'm not sure. No. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Toad, you're supposed to be a car salesman. Oh, <laughs> that's why I have all these cars behind me. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot. My bad. Uh, Toad, I know this is your first time playing house, but, yeah. get, but get it right. Oh. Okay, I got you this time. I won't mess up. Do it again. All right, all right. Let me clear my voice. Me, me, me. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, hi, mister. Oh, hi, sir. How you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Welcome to Toes Wacky Cars. Wacky, 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 wacky. Oh, wow, you have an amazing inventory of cars. Yep, nothing but the wacky is wacky. Yeah, they sure are wacky. So, yep. uh, what can you sell me today? Oh, tell me what your issue is, sir. Well, I mean, uh, me and my wife kind of got in a bit of a pickle. Oh, man, I get in the pickles all the time. Yeah. Especially when I'm hungry. Yeah, um, well, anyway, uh, today's our anniversary and I forgot. Oh, man, how did you forget? That's a, uh, oh, you, you have messed up, sir. Yeah, what? Well, you have messed up. You only forget things you don't want to remember, sir. So. <laughs> oh, I got you on yeah. that one, huh? So, uh, yeah, so what kind of car can you sell for my wife with the big mouth? Oh, uh, well, I got something perfect for you. Uh, what is it? Oh, I got this monster truck right here. Oh, it's nothing but the best. It's not much of a monster. It's kind of small, but you get to play with it. <laughs> well, you know, as much as I would love that monster truck. Right? Yeah, my wife wouldn't well like it that much, you oh, know. Oh, I understand. I yeah, understand. she's more of a classy lady. You oh, know. oh, I get you. One of those, oh, take me out to sushi. I want a Mercedes Benz. Yep. She, yep. She's those type of chicks, I yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah, those type of things where I'll get her a nice car, then in two weeks she'll forget about it. And oh, she'll... man, I hate women like that. Yeah, well, anyway, I need something classy. So what you got that's classy? Um, <sighs> oh, 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 we have a tow truck. Say you get a fetish one day, right? And you want your wife to get like 600 pounds. And you want her, you want to lift her up, right? And just want her to smother you. Just sit on your face. Oh, oh what a fetish. I know I'm not the only one, right? Uh, who else has this fetish? Uh, I'm not the only one, right? Uh, right? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think. Please tell me I'm not. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think I, I want a tow truck. That's that's, that's 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 a little bit too much for my wife. Oh, well. I want a car like that red one right there. Look at that red one. Well, yeah, it is sporty, but oh, Mickey Mouse is already in that one. Oh, stupid Mickey Mouse. Oh, I know, right? How you beat you to the punch? Uh, I don't even think you paid me. Well, what's that horse over there? Oh man, she's a beauty. Oh, she's a sexy one thing. Oh, she, well. she's she has a white coat and she's a Mustang boy. Uh, right there. But she only gets one mile to the gallon. Oh uh, well, anyway, I don't like Mustangs, so I don't think wait a second. What 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 what? What is that? What's that beautiful car right there? Oh man, <laughs> you don't know about luxury until you rode in one of these babies right here. This is the all-purpose Barbie car. She's sexy. Look at those sexy rims on the side of it. Oh, that's Look gorgeous. And I know it's gorgeous. And it's convertible. It is convertible. You just drop the top and your wife will forget about all the problems. She'll just forget about the, like, maybe chick that you're probably cheating on her with. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah. How, now, how much does this cost? Oh, man, it's going to cost your arm and a leg. And a dollar. A dollar? Yep, a dollar. Well, I think it's my lucky day. <gasps> yeah, I hope because so. Because I have a dollar. Whoa! You have a dollar! Yeah, so is it mine? Yes, all yours, sir. Oh, oh thank God dollar. my wife is never going to yell at me again oh, until three weeks from now. <laughs> Junior, what, what, what is this? Uh, it's your brand new car. Happy anniversary, honey. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's perfect! Oh, how could you afford this with your low income job? Well, you know, I had to sell my wedding ring, but it was oh worth it. Oh my god! You know, if we oh, get you a new car. This is perfect! It's all pink and sparkly! Oh yeah, man, yeah. can I test drive it? Yeah, drive it as much as you want. Just just don't come home because I don't want to see your face. But, but just take it for oh, a drive. Oh god, I love you, Julian! 
Love you too. No, I don't. <sighs> Thank God. Oh man, Ooh. ladies, calm down. There's enough of me for the both of you. Jeez. Oh my God, Julia, I love the car. What is going on? Uh, uh, Julia, are you cheating on me? Uh, no, no, it's not what you think. Uh, these, are, these are women from the office. What? Women from the office? Yeah, yeah, these are interns. Uh, this is Chastity and, and Karen. What is he doing around you? Well, they're tr trying to work their way up. Jeez. By wrapping their legs around you? Uh, well, if you want a promotion too, you might as well start doing it. <gasps> you son of a bitch! I hate you! Oh, gee darn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ken, we're in big trouble this time. Sally, pack up all your clothes. We're going to my mother's house. Why, Mom? Oh, because your dad is a cheating bastard! I'm not cheating. Your, your mother just saying lies about me. No, no, no. He was cheating. What do you call it then if it wasn't cheating? Well, I call it trying new things. Those women were nice ladies. What? They were wrapped around you trying to give you something that I was supposed to give you. What? Love and affection and not run their mouth all damn day? Yes! Exactly that! Well, you know what? I don't want to see your face anymore. Just get out of my house. I pay the bill and get out. <gasps> you know what? I don't even want to live here no more. You don't even do anything. You don't Mom, treat me. Dad? What? What? I have something I need to tell you. What is it? What? Well, see, this, this stick says I'm pregnant. Wait. Wait. What, what's that mean? Um. Wait, what's uh, pregnant? pregnant. Oh, I think he's like, oh, she, I think she's having a baby, dude. What? That's gross. I know, right? Oh, 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 it's oh, weird. Oh, How? Uh, wait, wait, am I supposed to be disappointed? Um, yeah, if I was a father and my child was, yeah, yeah, I would be disappointed. Oh, okay, uh, 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 Cody, I mean, I mean, Sally, tell us again, okay? <clears throat> um, mom, dad. What? Yeah, what? Um, I, I am pregnant. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you serious? That's the last thing this family needed you to get pregnant. You be going around <laughs> opening your life for everybody. Oh my God! I'm Who's a, the father? I'm a horrible parent. I, I think the father is uh, Ken, maybe. <gasps> you think it's Ken? You think it's Ken? Who can it be? Well, there's, you know. Well, um, oh no, it's it's Ken. It's probably Ken. Yes. Well, did, well, Ken, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? Yeah. Speak up. And you think that plan's gonna work? You can't support our daughter. You're a failure. Y'all are both failures, and we are too. Oh my God. We should have taught our daughter. We're horrible parents. We're horrible. <laughs> Sally, what are you gonna do about us? Yes, Sally. Are you gonna keep your baby? Uh, maybe. I no, land what? your back. Land your back. Okay. Die! Uh, Die, baby! Uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, Die! Uh, Die. Uh, Die. Uh, Kill the baby! Uh, 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 the door. Oh, who's oh. that? That's Dang it! It's probably Cody's parents. I was oh. having fun. Oh, your parents always ruin it, Cody. Uh, I bet it's Cody's mom. <sighs> Hello? Hello, it's raining. May I come inside? Well, I would let you inside my house, but I'm not allowed to let skanks inside my house, so no. Oh. Well, thank you anyway. Cody! Big fat mom's here! Yeah, good one, Junior. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow, Cody. I had fun today, Junior. Oh, you did, Cody Gens? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Cody got pregnant and I was trying to kill the baby. What? Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. So, anyway, bye, Cody. Yeah. We'll kill the baby next time. Cody, mommy needs to clean your tushy. Mom. Oh, you have to clean his tushy. That's gross. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> anyway, Joseph, um, so do you want me to strangle you a couple more times? Or what, what do you want to do? Mm, uh, try to punch me. Oh! oh, man, it's good being the man of the house. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, I made this plane out of Legos. Whoa, that's so cool! Dude, you're like the Wright Brothers. That's so awesome. Can we fly it? Well, it's not going to fly, Junior. It's made of Legos. But, but it's a plane. It can fly. Well, no, Junior, it's made of Legos. It's too heavy to fly. Legos are too heavy to fly? Real planes are made out of metal. They, they can fly. Yeah, but those planes have engines. This doesn't have engines. It has two engines. Look in the back. There are two engines. But, Junior, the engines are made of Legos. It's not going to fly. But it's a plane. It can fly. It even has a pilot. Well, he's not alive. But he's in his seat. Look, he probably went to a lot of years of flight school. Ju yeah. Junior, it's all Legos. It's just toys. It's not going to really fly. Cody, it's a plane. It can fly. It has wings. Duh, stupid. Wait, Junior, it's just, it's just made of Legos. It's not going to work. Let's go in the kitchen and see if it can fly. Come on. Wait, it's not going to work. All right, Cody. Are you ready to see your plane fly? It's not really going to fly. It has wings. Joseph has wings. He can fly. Mm -hmm. Well, these wings don't really work. You built it and you don't even know what it can do. All right. Watch it fly. Ugh. Look, Cody, it's flying. Junior, your mac and cheese is ready. Oh, man, I love my new red jacket. Uh, 
inexperienced pilot, but I told you Cody could fly. Junior, you just threw it in the air. Anything will fly for a few seconds if you throw it up in the air. Junior, I can't believe you just got a stain on my new red jacket. You can throw it in the washing machine, Chef Pee Pee. Just calm down. Oh, I swear to God, this stain better come out, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, Cody? It's you! Ew, Cody, you just sneezed all over my bib! Ew, dude, that's gross! Uh, Chef Pee can you wash my bib, too? Oh, stupid, Junior! This thing better come out of my jacket! Hey, Chef Pee can you wash my bib, too? Oh, sure, Junior! <laughs> Thanks! Uh, Alright, guys, what do you want to do now? Whoa, Junior, looking good. Nakey, makey, eggs and bakey. Ew, Cody, don't look at me. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. Cody, why can't you cover your nose when you sneezed? Junior, my arms aren't long enough to reach my nose. <laughs> Loser, I can. Watch. I guess I can't either. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys are losers. Watch this. <laughs> I guess I can't either. Yeah, we can't reach our nose. I guess we have to wait for my bib to dry. <laughs> Hope it doesn't dry too soon. <laughs> oh man, goodness me! Thank God that stain came out. This jacket cost me fifty dollars. Wait, is this Junior's bib? Oh my God, it's pink! <laughs> How girly! <laughs> That's what he deserves. <laughs> Is it hot in here, Junior, or is it just you? Dude, stop being weird. I can't wait for my bib to be clean. Junior, your bib's clean. <laughs> it's pink. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's pink like a girl. <laughs> yeah, we should start calling you Julia. <laughs> yeah, Julia. <laughs> There's your bib, Julia. <laughs> Chef, baby, why is my bib pink? Maybe God thinks you should be a girl. Well, I don't want to be a girl. Well, I think it might be because you washed your white bib with Chef Peepee's red jacket, so it turned pink. Well, I don't want to be pink. Chef Peepee, fix it. I'm not going to fix it. I don't have to. Well, if you don't fix it, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my dad! Daddy! Wow, it's real mature, Junior. <coughs> How old are you now? Dad, dad, dad! What do you want, Junior? Chef BB, he stained my bib pink, and now everyone's calling me a girl. A girl? My son's not a girl. My son's a man. A big, strong man. Yeah, then tell Chef to give me a new bib. Oh, I'll go and tell him. <laughs> Chef <-Bee -Bee! laughs> What, Bowser? My son's a man. He's not going to be caught wearing a sissy pink bib. You tell him, Dad. Well, it's not my fault. I washed my jacket and I guess it stained his bib. Well, he's a man. He's not going to wear that, so you better buy him another one. I'm not buying him another one. Dad, make him buy another one. Oh, don't worry about it, my precious, precious princess. He's going to buy you another one. Oh, yeah. Chef, baby, go get your laptop and buy me another one. What the, the, why do I have to buy you another one? Because I'm a big boy. I'm the biggest man in the world. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> All right, Junior. How much is this stupid bid? $5? $10? More like $800. $800? Wait, why? It's Gucci. Wait, you don't wear Gucci? Yeah, I do. My dad got me a Gucci bib when I was born because he wanted me to be fly. Junior, you're not even worth $800. Yeah, Junior. $800 for a bib is ridiculous. Chef, baby, has to buy me a new bib just like my old one. And that's my old bib right there. So buy it, Chef Pee Pee. Junior, I can't afford an $800 bib. Doesn't my dad pay you? Yeah, but not $800. I'll probably make that in 10 years. Well, you better get a new job and buy me a new bib. Well, where am I supposed to work? Um, aren't you a chef? Can't you get a job at a restaurant? Yeah. What restaurants are hiring right now? Look, let's turn on the commercial channel where commercials are always going on and you can see if there's a restaurant hiring. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Doesn't that just look delicious? We have the meats. Nope, nope, that's Arby's. Uh, hi, I'm Brooklyn Guy, founder and CEO of Burger Queen. If you're anything like me, you need food to survive. And that's what this is, food. So, if you're looking to survive and you need something to eat, come on down and get yourself something at Burger Queen. Also, we're hiring, so if you're looking for work and you can keep a secret, come on down and apply. Oh, Chef Baby, look, Burger Queen. Burger Queen? What kind of off-brand restaurant is that? Well, they need some employees, so go get hired. Junior, I'm not working there. Well, Chef Baby, if you don't buy me a new bib, I guess I'm just going to have to tell my dad. <gasps> Daddy! Junior, okay, okay, okay. God, I'll go there. All right, welcome to Burger Queen. You have any questions before we get started? Yes, how is this different from Burger King? That is a great question. See, I came up with the original idea for Burger King back in college, but then my roommate overheard me talking about it, and he trademarked it before I could. So, I had to make Burger Queen. Well, what kind of food do you sell? Well, it is a very complicated and secret recipe, so make sure you don't tell anyone. 
All right, here's what we do. We get in a car, and we go to a Burger King, then we buy up all of their food, and then we bring it back here, and we tape the Burger Queen logo onto the wrapper and sell it for a dollar more. Wait, isn't that illegal? Oh, yeah. Just make sure you tape the Burger Queen logo on real good so it doesn't come off, so we don't get sued. I've already gotten two cease and desist letters, so we cannot get caught again. Well, what's my job? Your job is going to be to take these scissors and cut out the Burger Queen logo and tape it onto these Whoppers. But make sure you don't call them Whoppers. These are called Whippers. Why would anybody choose Burger Queen over Burger King? That's probably because of a slogan, which is, Why eat with a king when you can go down on a queen? Wait, wait don't, don't we serve burgers? Yeah, it tastes the same. Oh, oh there's somebody at the drive through window. Okay, okay, I'll stay here and cut out logos. You go take their order. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome to Burger Queen. How may I take your order? I don't have a car. Can I still order here? I mean, you're here. Might as well order. Oh, well, how is this different from Burger King? The name? Uh, oh, what, what kind of food do you have? Uh, we have everything Burger King has, just a dollar more. Really? That, that's a ripoff. I know, right? That's so evil. Mm -hmm. That's too evil for me. I'm just gonna go to Burger King instead. Well, smart man. Goodbye. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, what do you order? I hope it was a Whopper, because they're getting cold. He didn't order anything. Uh, I told him it was a dollar more than Burger King, so he's going to Burger King. <laughs> Why would you tell him that? What, what did I do wrong? Well, you're not supposed to tell him we're stealing food from Burger King. It's like you don't even know how copyright infringement works. I didn't tell him we were stealing food. Good, and don't tell him the price either. Ooh, okay, we have somebody else at the drive through window. Just tell him we have two for four. Of what? I don't know. Just sell something. Uh, okay. Welcome to Burger King. Thank you. Uh, I, mean, I mean, welcome to Burger Queen. How may I take your order? Uh, it's just a drive through because I flew, so it's kind of like a fly-through because my cape is kind of like a car. What do you want? Oh, wait. What is this place? Burger Queen. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was Burger King. No, no. It's basically Burger King. Look, order whatever you will order there, and we have it here. Look, we have a two for four. Two for four what? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll just take two Whoppers then. Okay, uh, two Whoppers coming up! What? Okay, I need two Whoppers. Two what? Oh, Whoppers! Whoppers, right, sorry, I forgot the silly things we do here. Yeah, yeah, I got three of them ready. Okay, and I told him two for four. Two for four? Yes. For, for what? For four dollars? No, 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 we, we can't do that. I, I got these two for five at Burger King. I, I can't lose a dollar. Uh, tell them the two for six, the price went up. But you told me two for four! Well, just tell them, tell them it's, 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 it's inflation. It's stock, stock market and NASDAQ. He, he, he won't understand, just tell him. Okay, look, I'm so sorry, sir, but I have to change the price. It's two for six. But you said it was two for four. I know, inflation and stock market and the new Xbox is coming out, it's knocking up the price. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right. That's fine. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, he said okay. He said okay? Yes. <laughs> what a chump. You know what? I'm going to give him three. But no, because then I'd still lose money. Oh, okay. How about this? How about we tell him three for ten? No, no, no. Three for twenty. Let's see how much we can milk this guy for. Oh, okay, then. Okay, sir. The new price is three for twenty. What? Three for twenty? I don't even want three. Yeah, but the new PlayStation is coming out, too, and the stock market is depending on that. The pre-orders are already sold out. You know. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, he accepted it! What, he did? Yes! <laughs> what an idiot! I know, right? Oh, should we try to get more? Oh, yes, let's drain his bank account. Ooh, get, get, get his credit card and I'll write the numbers down. Oh, what about his social security number? Take it, yeah! <laughs> it. Oh, uh, high school mascot. Oh, his first pet's name. Yeah, yeah, get that too. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, sir, I got a brand new offer for you. I just want my burgers. What if I told you instead of six burgers, you could get three? I thought I was already getting three. But you could get three burgers for a penny. Well, how is that possible? All I need is your credit card your date of birth, your social security number, your pet's name, and your high school mascot. Huh, this seems kind of fishy. Oh, nah. <laughs> okay, that nah was good enough for me. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, platinum. <laughs> I got it, I got it. We can buy whatever we want. Chef Pee Pee, you're fired. Wait, what? That was a test to see if you'd steal, and you failed. We may commit copyright infringement and steal from Burger King, but we never steal from our customers. But you told me to take his car! Yeah, and you should have said no. Stealing is wrong, because we do not hire criminals. Everything you're doing here is a crime! I know. What the? You can keep the store! Oh my god! Where's my food? Uh, there's your food! Uh, you thirsty? You thirsty? Uh, right, my weakness! Yeah, it's everybody's weakness! <laughs> I wonder how Chef Baby's first day at Burger Queen went. Wait, where's Joseph? Oh my god, I hate Burger Queen! Oh, Chef Baby, did you make $800 to buy me a new bib? Oh god, no. I got fired, I think. And then he gave me the store. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. Well, you could sell it and make some money. Oh, but I think it's illegal. Oh. There's someone at the door. Wait, wait, wait. Who's that? 
I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll get it. Hello? Hey there, it's me again. Uh, listen, I realized it was pretty irresponsible of me to just leave you there with the store like that. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell the cops what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I figured I'd let you buy one thing with the stolen credit card if you promised to never tell Burger King what I was doing. Wait, wait, really? Are you serious? Yeah, just one thing though. Then I need the card back because I got to buy some stuff too. Okay. <laughs> Wow, Chef BB, thank you for the new Gucci bib. Yeah, whatever, but you better not get this one dirty. Okay, I won't. All right, I'm gonna give this card back to the Burger Queen guy. Okay, here's your card back. Chef PP, you're under arrest. Wait, why? That was also a test to see if you'd steal. You were supposed to say no, stealing is wrong. But you gave me the card. Well, if I gave you the keys to a car that was gonna explode, would you still get in it? Uh, no. Exactly, because stealing is wrong. Now give me the card back. Uh, here you go. Sucker! What? Cody, check out my new Gucci bib. Mm, I like you better with it off. Oh, man. Oh, what's up, guys? I was in the bathroom. Talk about a stomach ache. Pee you. <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do now? Well, I did make another Lego airplane. Whoa! Can we fly it? Junior, this one's not going to fly either. Well, the first one flew. Wait, no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It flew and it landed on the macaroni and cheese runway. <sighs> Junior... Let's go fly it. <laughs> All right, Cody, you ready to see it fly? It's not gonna fly, Junior. You're just gonna break it. <laughs> Junior, it took me a week to build. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Well, I do have $500, and I don't know what to spend it on. You don't know what to spend it on? On PlayStation 5? Yeah, they're out right now, dude. Yeah, you can play Spider-Man. Explore a new well. You have to get a PlayStation 5 right now, Cody. I don't know. I was thinking about buying a new telescope. Ah, what was that for, Junior? A uh, telescope? A uh, frickin' telescope? Oh, my God. He's oozy nerd right now. You're the biggest, fattest, ugliest nerd I've ever seen if you buy a telescope with that money. But I could, I could explore new worlds with my telescope. What are you going to see with a dumb telescope? Well, I could look at planets. Like, I could look at Uranus. And then I could get the telescope. <laughs> Cody, if you get a PlayStation 5, I can play it. Joseph, I can play it. I can play it some more. I could play it. I, I could play it again. Junior, it just sounds like you want me to get a PS5 so you can play it. Well, of course, but we would all play it, especially me. And I know Santa Claus would get me one for Christmas, but I don't want to wait that long. I don't want elf juice all over my PlayStation 5. So just go buy it, please. But Junior, if I get a telescope, we can all look through it. And what are we going to say? Your big mom's fat, hairy butt? Wait. I don't want to let your big mom's hairy butt... Cody. Like, like she can stand on the other side of the country and I can see it with my naked eye how, how fat she is because she's so fat. Like she's fat, right, Joseph? <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a good burn. Burn! <laughs> fat mom, Cody. Okay, guys, I think you've helped me make my decision on what I'm gonna buy. Oh, he's gonna buy the he's PlayStation. He's totally gonna get the PlayStation. He's gonna get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Oh! Dude, he got it! He got the PlayStation! Oh! He got it! He got it! That's my boy! That's my dog right there! That's my... I got a telescope. Isn't it cool, guys? How'd you get the PlayStation 5 box? Oh, well, the guy that sold me the telescope used the money to buy a PS5, and then he let me use the box to carry the telescope. Can we be friends with him instead? Please? Come on, guys, the telescope is so cool. No, no, it's not. I mean, look at that, that's carbon fiber. Joseph, how do we kill him? Dude, um, bury him in your backyard, and then get a pool made on top of him. That way, the police can never dig him up. Hey, Cody. Did you hear my dad's getting a pool installed in my backyard? Oh, that, that that's cool. I, I mean, I can't swim, but that, that could be fun. You, you guys want to come outside and play with my telescope? Cody, why would you buy a telescope and not a PlayStation 5? Because the PlayStation 5 just didn't really sound that cool to me. It didn't sound cool? Fun didn't sound cool to you? Video games didn't sound cool to you? Having a better life than have, owning a telescope didn't sound cool to you? Well, owning a telescope just seemed cooler. What, would you, what, do you, what do you think Galileo would do if he had $500 and he could buy a telescope or a PlayStation? He probably would buy a telescope. Well, then Galileo's lame, just like you. Guys, are you going to come outside and look at stars with me or not? I, mean, I guess we have nothing better to do unless we want to look at the PlayStation box. Dude, which... it better be cooler than the PlayStation. Looking at the PlayStation box looks cooler so far. All right, guys, are you ready to look at stars? Oh, <laughs> cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, boring. This is so boring. We could be playing a PlayStation right now. I know, dude. Guys, look, I can see Orion's belt. And then under that, I can see Orion's dog. <laughs> Ryan was packing. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy. We're just playing with a telescope. What are you doing? Well, I'm picking my nose. See this awesome booger I just got? Well, that's a big booger. Mm-hmm. All right. Does anyone else want to take a look? Uh, yeah, I'll look. I guess. <sighs> this is so boring. All I see is stars. What, Cody, what planet is green? Green? I don't think any of them are green. I'm looking at a green planet right now. Really? Let me see. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, dude, I want to see. 
Dude, it is green. Is it a planet? Wait, guys, did we just discover a new planet? We? No, I just discovered a new planet. I'm the one that saw it first. But, but it's my telescope. We wouldn't have even seen it if I hadn't gotten the telescope. But I saw it first, so I just discovered a green planet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Calm down. Let's call NASA and they'll tell us if it even is a new planet. Yeah, let's go call NASA. Hey there, you call NASA? Oh, you guys got a PS5? Sweet! No, it's just the box. Wh why? What happened? He had $500 to buy a PS5, but he bought a telescope instead. Ugh, nerd. I work for NASA and I wouldn't have bought a telescope. Right? But anyway, I was using his dumb, stupid telescope and I discovered a new planet. There's no way. We've been looking for years. We know there's no new planets in our solar system. But we actually found a new planet, though. No, I found a new planet, not we. W with my telescope? No, but I saw it with my eyes. I don't even know why you bought a telescope. You have two telescopes on your face. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go outside and look at this new planet. Yeah, come on, look. I'll show you. All right, so if you just look inside there, you'll see a green planet. Okay. Huh. What? Wait a minute. What is that? Well, well, it's round and it's green, so that looks like a new planet to me. So I discovered a new planet? Oh my god, I think you boys actually might have discovered a new planet. I discovered a new planet. I gotta go alert the news. Well, tell them it was me. I discovered it. Breaking news, okay? Three young boys have discovered a new planet in our solar system. More on this story as it develops. Three? Boys? I'm a man. I'm not much of one, but I am one. No, not three. One. One kid discovered it, and I was the kid that discovered it. <laughs> Guys, I'm the guy in the group project that gets an A for doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, why'd they acknowledge Joseph? He didn't do anything. Junior, you just have to accept that you didn't discover it. I did discover it. I saw it with my eye. You were eye-banging your telescope for 30 minutes, and you didn't see it until I looked at the telescope, and I saw saw the planet myself. Well, you saw it with my telescope that I bought. Well, I would have saw it even if I didn't use your stupid telescope. Really? You could see it without a telescope? Yeah, if I would have just looked up and saw it, I would have saw it. Well, then why haven't you seen it before? Because I've never looked up. Well, you've never looked up ever? Nope, I've never looked up. So you've never seen the moon? What's that? What, Junior. What? There's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey there, I need to talk to you kids. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Ugh. Hey there, kids. So what's up? The International Space Station. That's what's up, because it's up in space. <laughs> that's, that's a little NASA joke for you. You wouldn't get it. you got to be a part of NASA to understand. Anyway, I brought you guys this certificate so you can name your new planet, because you all discovered a new planet. No, I discovered a new planet. Junior, he said we. We all did. But I saw it first with my eyeball. Well, you saw it on my telescope. Well, you see, that's actually the weird thing, is that we can't actually find the new planet on any other telescopes but yours. You hear that, Junior? Well, you can only find it on my telescope. But I'm the one who saw it with my eyeball, so maybe I made it appear with my eyeball. But we found it with my telescope, and that's the only one. Oh, uh, let me ask him. Hey, NASA guy, so listen. I saw the planet first with my eyeball. He bought the telescope, but I saw the planet first. So who owns the planet? Hmm. Hmm. I don't care. I, I really don't care. I just need you guys to fill this out, name your new planet, and then name who the owner is. I'll be by later to pick up the paper. So what am I gonna name the new planet? No, Junior, I'm naming the planet. No, I'm naming it because I discovered it. What would you even name it, Cody? I would name it Planet Hunkulon, and all of the hunkiest guys in the galaxy would get to live there. That's so lame, Cody. Well, what would you name it? I would name it Guacamole. But guacamole? You can't name a planet Guacamole, it's already a food. But the planet's green like Guacamole, and then at dinner parties, people would be like, can you pass me the Guacamole? And they're like, yeah, hold on. Oh, it's all the way in space, I have to go get it. You want to name an entire planet guacamole just so people can make jokes at dinner parties? Yeah, and then kids would be like, Dad, where's guacamole from? Oh, it's from the planet guacamole. I agree with Junior, it is a good name. Thanks, Joseph. Well, oh, okay, okay, how about we let Joseph decide? What, me? Him? He didn't do shh anything. Yeah, exactly, he's not involved, so he doesn't have an opinion one way or the other. We should let him decide. <sighs> what would you name the planet, Joseph? Ooh, if I could name it, I would probably name it Planet... Uh, finish! <laughs> okay, that sucks. Joseph can't name the planet. Yeah, that's so lame. So you should just let me name it. No, no, I think we should flip a coin for it. All right, um, I'm gonna call heads. Okay. Uh, tails, tails, tails! What? No, you called tails in the air! What, what, no, no, it, it, it's tails, and I called it uh in, in the air, so that means I win because I said tails last. You should have said, you should have said tails before it landed. Okay, you know what, Junior? Screw it. I don't even care anymore. You can name the planet. I don't uh, care. Uh, yes! Planet Guacamole, here I come! I want my booger back. There, I named it. Planet Guacamole. It's so stupid. Hey there, you named the planet? Yeah, I named it Guacamole. Oh, I get it, because it's green. Yeah, wait. 
You know you're balding on the back of your head, right? Yeah, I know. Just give me the thing. All right, here you go. Go make it official. Thanks. So what do we do now that you have your own planet, Junior? Uh, go visit it. Whoa, dude, let's do it. We can't just go visit it, Junior. Why? Because we don't have a rocket ship to get there. Oh, we do, Cody. Oh, yes, we do. What? All right, Cody, bam. There's the rocket ship. Junior, that's not a rocket ship. It's a firework. No, it's a rocket. It's going to shoot up in space. No, it's going to go in the air and explode because it's a firework. Well, I'm going to put it on the non-explode mode. What? Junior, if you want to see a rocket explode, come over to my house tonight. So who's the first person that wants to go to guacamole? Dude, why don't you go? It's your planet. Well, I'd love to, but I'm not selfish. Yes, you are. Joseph, why don't you go? What, me, dude? Go to your planet? Yeah, you could be the first person on guacamole. Dude, I am so honored. I didn't think I would ever be anything in life. Well, now you are. You'll be the first person on guacamole. You can look at the history books, and they will say, Joseph, his friend from school, is the first person to land on guacamole. My picture in the history books? Your face plastered all over Times Square. Oh. The first kid on guacamole. Dude, I'll do it. Okay, I'll strap you to the firework. I'm going to shoot you off. Okay. All right, Joseph. You're about to be the first person on guacamole. You're a brave astronaut. What are you going to do when you get there? Dip my chips in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to tell my kids about this. He's not going to be able to tell his kids because he's going to die. Whoa! Hey, hey, watch your mouth. Why would you wish that upon him? Yeah, why would you do that, dude? I'm not wishing it. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen. Dude, what, what do you think would have happened if they would have told Nemo if he touched the butt that they would take him? But he, they did tell him that, and he did it anyway, and look what happened. Cody, you're not making any sense. Just get out of here. Just get, get out of here. All right, Joseph, I'm going to light you. <sighs> He's gonna die. No, he's not. <laughs> and he's dead. Look, did he make it? No, he didn't make it. Well, yeah, yeah, he made like a landing sound. Come on, come on, come on. All right, Cody, let's see if Joseph's on guacamole. He's not because he died. What? Cody! What? Guacamole's missing. What do you mean? Look! Junior, where'd it go? Well, I don't know. Do you think we blew up guacamole with our firework? No, Junior, it's a firework. There's no way it could have gone high enough. Oh, oh, do you think aliens destroyed guacamole? Well, I don't know, Junior. Let's just call NASA. Well, let's call NASA. Hey, guys, what's up? The stars. I don't get it. Well, anyway, my planet's missing. Wait, really? Yeah, we were trying to send my friend to my new planet. On a firework. And, and we think that we might have accidentally blown up my planet with a firework or aliens destroyed it. But show me. Look, 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 look. Oh my god, it's missing! Yeah, I know! What do you think happened to it? I, I don't know, did you move the telescope? No, we didn't move it! Do you think aliens destroyed the planet? <sighs> Those dang aliens! I gotta alert the news! Breaking news, okay? The newly discovered planet, Guacamole, has been assumed to be destroyed by aliens. The world has yet to decide the punishment for this act. So, kid, what do you want to do? Your planet's gone. I want revenge on those stupid, dumb, ugly aliens. Because my friend Joseph died a hero. He died trying to go land on guacamole. So I want revenge on the aliens, and I want to nuke them. I want you guys to send 100 nukes in every direction in space until we hit those aliens. Okay. Uh, we don't really know where the aliens are. And so that's why I want you to shoot nukes everywhere. Make the biggest nuke in the world and nuke all of outer space. Okay. I'm going to have to confess something here. Uh, it was a booger. What? Your planet. It, it, it was a booger. A, a booger? Yeah, it was a booger on the lens of the telescope. It was not a planet. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm saying that somebody picked their nose and wiped it on your telescope and you thought it was a planet, but it was just a booger. How long did you know this? Oh, I knew as soon as I saw it, but, you know, I thought, you know, it'd be funny to just kind of play along and, you know, you, you thought you made some kind of big scientific discovery, so... I thought it'd be kind of funny to tell you you discovered a planet, but then then you strapped your friend to a rocket and he's dead now, so now I'm kind of worried about the repercussions that might have for me and my career. So, I'm telling you this because I think we should all just pretend this never happened and then just tell everyone that aliens did it. Okay. Now that you think about it, Joseph didn't even really need to go on a rocket. He could have just flown up because he had wings.